Tonight we continue to focus on the towns that make West Michigan one of a kind. This time we are putting the spotlight on Fremont, where one company is changing things by going green. That's where we find Fox 17's Kevin Craig tonight. Kevin. Hey, thanks guys. This is an absolutely fabulous story, but we want to set the scene for you in the stage here. We are in downtown Fremont on Main Street at a location called the Arts Place. We'll be here until 7 o'clock. We've got a lot of great things going on. Very artsy. You can kind of see everything that's here. There's some sculptures. There's some paintings. A lot of the paintings that you see here on the wall are actually being kind of showcased from people within an hour of Fremont. You can come in here if you're an artist and showcase your paintings. That's only part of it. The actual story that Christian and Michelle just alluded to, imagine being able to take food waste, everyday food waste, and turn it into a biogas and then electricity. Well, you don't have to imagine that anymore because there is the newest company here in Fremont that has now turned that into a complete reality. So how do thousands of pounds of food waste like this turn into usable electricity on the grid like that? Fremont's newest state-of-the-art cutting-edge company is making it happen. But to understand the process, let's go back and start at the beginning with the Vice President of Business Development. 300 tons and more than 40 different types of food processing waste enters the Fremont Community Digester each day. Food processing waste, carrots, blueberries, cherries, apples, asparagus, all kinds of food waste, bring it in here and we can not only uh, not suppress the bacterial activity, but we can actually get a multiplication effect. Food waste from companies like Gerber, McDonald's, and many other businesses end up here in the most advanced biodigestion facility in the United States. In fact, the entire idea for the facility came from Gerber trying to find ways to control their food waste. Biodigestion has been around since the Roman times, and usually digesters focus on one, two, maybe three feedstocks, and we have 40 plus feedstocks and always are looking for more. The waste is unloaded and eventually ends up in three digestion tanks. Each tank holds a million gallons. The temperature is turned up to accelerate bacterial growth, which breaks the waste down over a 22-day period and becomes biogas. Everything that comes in, every single item will, will turn into something of higher value. It's otherwise a waste stream or it's going to go to the landfill. We intercept it and we turn it into biogas, which we burn as electricity and put it on the grid. Even the cardboard that's brought in is recycled. It is truly the epitome of going green. The company actually produces enough electricity to power the city of Fremont. Fundamentally, this, this is the, uh, the heartbeat, the lifeblood of our plant is the electricity that we produce. And remember, we're producing it from otherwise waste from the food processing industry. In addition to electricity, the digester also produces more than 100 tons each year of both liquid fertilizer and a solid fertilizer or humus. This is just pure organic matter. It's a sterile product. It comes out of the backside completely sterile and you can see the little particulates of the uh, food uh, that went in it to, that made this. The 22 million dollar plant began commercial operation in December, can produce three megawatts of power on a daily basis and is capable of reducing 75,000 tons of greenhouse gas emissions each year. And we're back here live uh, in Fremont. And one more thing about the Community Digester and this new company, they generate a lot of hot water for that, uh, from that digester. Uh, and one of the things they're gonna be able to do is share a lot of that energy given from the hot water through the industrial park with other companies. So that's another advantage of that complete facility. Really a neat thing. If you wanna read more on that, simply go to fox17online.com. We're in the Arts Place in downtown Fremont. Swing around this way, Ben, with me. We've got the live Fremont High School Chamber Orchestra here. There's a connection with this orchestra to the Arts Place where we are and the six o'clock West Michigan story that's coming up. We're gonna tell you and introduce you to a man who is world renowned, who makes violins, violas, and cellos, and some of the instruments in this orchestra he's worked on. It's a fabulous story out of Fremont. That's coming your way in the six o'clock news. Right now, live in Fremont, I'm Kevin Craig, Fox 17 News. All right, looking forward to it. Kevin, thanks for that. And if you would like to check out the other towns in West Michigan that we have focused on, just head to our website, click on the West Michigan Stories page. While you're there, of course, tell us why we should come out to your neighborhood. Boy, how Boy, cool is that? That's amazing. And then coming up at 6 o'clock, even more. Talk about going green. It's amazing.